On opening day, nothing inspires quite like Formula One. This is the beginning of season 75, the latest chapter in F1's illustrious history. This is the journey to crown the greatest driver and constructor on earth. And our championship begins here in front of a sellout crowd at Bahrain International. The new season is underway. Look at the sparks flying as the teammates go wheel to wheel. And that was elbows out brilliance from Carlos Sainz. Perez knows what's coming, tries the up and under, applies the power, super aggressive stuff, and position gained. That is a rocket ship move. Say goodbye to Carlos Sainz. The Dutch driver continues his domination of Formula One. Max Verstappen wins the season opener. Two of the greatest names in Formula One, Lewis Hamilton and Ferrari, are set to join forces next year. In a move both surprising and long-awaited, the seven-time World Drivers' Champion will be given the most coveted drive in motorsport when he finally sits behind the wheel of a Ferrari Formula One car. I've been with this team such a long time. There's, there's so much love within the team and I still uh, and will always will love this team. So everyone was incredibly understanding within the team and hugely supportive. And everyone knows that I'm, I'm here to deliver for them this year. So that's the focus. So it's the same as any other year. Congratulations to Formula One's latest driver. Oliver Behrman, 18 years of age, will become the youngest ever Ferrari driver, sitting in for Carlos Sainz, who has appendicitis. Huge best wishes for, for Carlos and, and his recovery, but it's, uh, it's a great moment and, and opportunity for me, and I'm ready to maximize it. Oliver Behrman into turn number one, moving up and claiming his place in the points. The Haas is in the way, but only for the moment. That's the pass he's been looking for. He's actually just done his best lap of the race. He's only a tenth and a half slower than Norris. Absolutely cracking drive this from Oli Behrman. And Norris struggling a bit with tyres there. He's fighting with Hamilton as well. We can do it. And look at this moment for the 18-year-old from Chelmsford. And it's points on debut for Oliver Behrman. And P7. P7. Awesome job, mate. I really enjoyed it. It was uh, so much fun out there. Max Verstappen, eat, sleep, win, repeat. Verstappen takes the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, a ninth consecutive win. That is a gauntlet laid down. And Formula One is underway in Melbourne. You're watching a Ferrari take the lead of the Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz, first opportunity taken. It is smoke out of the back of Verstappen's car. Reliability could be a question mark. Can you believe what we're seeing? The dreams of victory gone. Hey, oh, big crash, George Russell with a massive accident at the end of the Grand Prix. What a performance, what a comeback. A Ferrari 1-2 headed by Carlos Sainz. The unknown of when am I going to be back, am I going to be back in full form, uh, how long it's going to take me to, to get back up to speed and, and confident, and then suddenly you come back and win. <laughs> Life is good sometimes. The crowd adores the heroes who risk everything to race. The Grand Prix is underway. Off into the wall goes the two cars and a big crash into the tyre barrier. And this is really, really great battling for the last place on the road. And we're scrapping all the way through the order. This is our new Villeneuve. <laughs> Dijon, isn't it? A lap of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action swapping places. Max Verstappen wins the Japanese Grand Prix. Max Verstappen crosses the line to take victory in Shanghai. It's going to take a perfect drive and a perfect weekend to beat this man. Adrian Newey, the most successful designer in F1 history, is leaving Red Bull Racing, his home for almost the past two decades, and the team he helped elevate from party people into the most dominant and feared outfit in the pit lane. Every team boss in the sport knows the presence of Newey in your design office is as close to a guarantee for success as you can get in Formula One. With the Englishman having delivered title-winning cars for Williams, McLaren and Red Bull in the past 35 years. Whichever team he joins will be celebrating perhaps the biggest F1 coup of the decade, with the man himself ready to write a new chapter in his incredible career. It is time to go racing in the USA. 
Poor start for Charles Leclerc. Through goes Carlos Sainz. Max Verstappen maintains the lead. Oh, he was nearly hit by his teammate. Race leader with a swap on, trying to take avoiding action, and he clobbers the bollard. Oof. And I don't think Logan knew he was there. It is a huge moment in the race as well, because it's brought out the safety car. And Lando Norris is going to venture back out onto the racetrack as the race leader. It's a landmark day for Lando. Lando Norris wins for the first time in Formula One. <laughs> Oh, about time. I love you all. And the Grand Prix is underway. Max Verstappen has not been under this sort of pressure for a very, very long time. This is going to be absolutely fascinating. I'm fishing as much as I can. Verstappen using all of the road. Norris chasing Verstappen all the way to the checkered flag. My goodness me, it is fine margins after all of this racing. Lando Norris has chased him all the way to the flag, but Max Verstappen will take back the top step. Max Verstappen wins in Imola. Once it was a massive margin across the line, now it's under a second. I was just praying for one more lap. <laughs> Seven tenths, like Palisi would have had to defend into turn one and maybe something could have come from that, but uh, one up too late. No, he can't stop! And he has gone straight on! He's angry, he's frustrated, what? he's dissecting his own car. It's despair for Leclerc, he won't start. Stay out, stay out, stay out. Why? What? 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 This is Charles Leclerc's date with destiny. Oh my word, that and is a massive accident. Yeah, big, big crash. And thankfully, all of the drivers able to get out of their cars. That is Esteban Ocon chancing one at Portier. The two Alpines come together. What did you do? What did you do? The grandstands he saw built as a kid growing up now rise for him. And for the first time in 93 years, this fabled race is won by one of their own. Charles Leclerc wins the Monaco Grand Prix. We won it. Finally. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Oh. I did not only accomplish my own dream, but also the one of, of my father. It was uh, definitely a very, very special moment, a moment I will never forget. I will keep inside me forever. Russell to the front of the field with a 1 minute 12 exactly. Max Verstappen out of the final corner for the final time in this session. Can he do enough on new tyres at the end? It's second with exactly the same time. Extraordinary. They crawl off the line with George Russell chopping across Max Verstappen. Magnussen is going all the way to the front of the field as it stands. He's passing people for fun and he's up seven places from where he started. Lando Norris gets past Max Verstappen. Norris moving past, under braking and going through. Verstappen's gone by. Oh, car off the road and into the barrier. Logan Sargent, second, third and fourth, come into the pits and the driver who had disappeared from Verstappen and Russell and Piastri now comes into the pits. Max Verstappen is going to retake the lead. One Williams still left in the Grand Prix is Alex Albon and he is fighting his way past the RB, fighting oh. his way past the Alpine and that is dramatic stuff. Oh, Russell's gone in deep, has he? Yes, he has. Does he open the door? Lando Norris is off the racing line, but he's back into second place. For the 60th time in Formula One, Max Verstappen takes the win. Lando Norris made it four different teams on pole in four races. This is Formula One in 2024, where it is game on, week in, week out. Lando Norris immediately trying to deal with Max Verstappen. He tries to chop across. I put myself in the grass. Who's bravest on the brakes? Oh my word, around the outside to take the lead. George Russell, what a start. That is absolutely incredible stuff. Russell, super defensive. Max Verstappen trying to roar around the outside. The leading two in the Grand Prix. Go wheel to wheel, and we have a new leader. 
Side by side we go with Lando Norris. George Russell went mega defensive. Lando Norris goes around the outside of turn number three, uses that fresher rubber, and now Russell tries to come back around the outside. He'll get the inside line for turn number five, and it was a brilliant battle, a battle that continues. Traction race, fresher rubber, inside line for Lando Norris. Max Verstappen wins once again in Formula One and takes the chequered flag in Spain. It is nearly time for the third chapter of Verstappen versus Norris. This will be a start to savour. Perfect reaction time for Max Verstappen. He's got what he needed off the line. Battle continues between the Alpines. Gasly gets by. So It's the best soap in Formula One, isn't it? The two Alpines. This Grand Prix has come alive through the crucial pit stop sequence and Norris does the fastest lap of the race trying to get inside that magical one second window. Is it late again? Is it great again? Fernando Norris, who tries to slow it down, but he overtook him off the road. What a late lunge it was, but he'll have to give that place back and he knows it. And now on lap 63, Lando Norris slows it down. Max Verstappen was off the road to maintain the place. Game on once again. This time it's the outside line. Oh, they make contact. He's got a puncher. The leading contenders for the World Championship come together at turn three. These two friends turned rivals, turned into each other at turn number three. And Norris is struggling. There it is. There's the moment. George Russell into the lead. George Russell wins an amazing Austrian Grand Prix. And the news this week is that Nico Hulkenberg will be joining the Audi project. Oliver Behrman has agreed a multi-year deal with Haas. Haas uh, have today announced that Esteban Ocon will be racing for them in 2025. Carlos Sainz has chosen Williams as his new home for 2025 and beyond. The halfway stage of the 2024 FIA Formula One World Championship Lights out, away we go. George Russell gets a good getaway. Lewis Hamilton tucks in behind. George Russell trying to defend from his teammate. Can he do anything? I don't think he can. Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the British Grand Prix. Both off, both run wide. Lando Norris takes second place. That was brilliant stuff by Lando Norris. There's a real chance he's going to overtake in an unusual area. He's done it. Lando Norris now takes the lead of the British Grand Prix. Hamilton's in and Norris stays out. This is the crucial lap. McLaren might have blown it by staying one extra lap. There's Hamilton. Hamilton comes out in front of Lando Norris. Here comes Max Verstappen. He moves to the outside and he makes the move. He's up into second place. Here at Silverstone, the crowds are going crazy. Lewis Hamilton wins the British Grand Prix. Get in there, Lewis. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot. It means a lot to get this one. A big thank you to all the fans here. Love you guys. This is a really special, special moment. Lando Norris will lead Oscar Piastri on the grid for McLaren. They're the team to beat in Budapest. The two papaya cars go side by side with Piastri down to the inside. Verstappen trying to go the long way round. Piastri takes the lead of the race. Lando Norris will be the McLaren that gets the fresh tyres first. Can he undercut Piastri from here? Two that, seconds. That's the question, isn't it? This is going to be a huge moment. Lando Norris goes past his teammate. We need you to save more tyres, please, and we do want to let Oscar through. Uh, we should have boxed him first then, surely not. This time he gets there, he locks up, and he makes contact with his old rival. Verstappen and Hamilton come together again, battling for the final place on the podium. The way to win a championship is not by yourself, it's with the team. You're going to need Oscar and you're going to need the team. A swap of positions, Oscar Piastri goes back through. The Australian driver advances all the way to that checkered flag. Oscar Piastri wins for the first time in Formula One. It's a McLaren 1-2. After a relentless run of races, this is our final chapter before the break. Great start for Lewis Hamilton, he's up to second place. He's immediately past Sergio Perez. To the race lead for Lewis Hamilton, and we have a new leader. Think we'll have a one stop. So George Russell asking the team to consider extending. Lewis Hamilton coming in for a vital stop. The race leader comes into the pits. Piastri wants that inside line. Leclerc is not going to give it to him. So going the long way round and taking the position is Oscar Piastri. 
and it's Russell versus Hamilton, Mercedes versus Mercedes. How can this be possible from George Russell? Hamilton all over the road, trying to give himself an opportunity to win this one at the final chicane on the final lap. It'll be a Grand Prix claimed inexplicably with driving brilliance from the wheel of George Russell, who takes one of the greatest drives you will ever witness to the top step of the podium. George Russell has been disqualified. His Mercedes was found to be underweight, meaning that Lewis Hamilton is now the new race winner. We have seemingly entered a world where anything is possible in this sport which we love.